have an astronomy department, you need to have a telescope. So they built the Burke Gaffney Observatory in the early 1970s, and it was funded by an anonymous uh, benefactor, which we learned recently ended up being Dr. Medjuk. It's got a bit of history. The uh, first supernova in Canada was discovered with it. It's on a Canadian stamp. It's on uh, a coin by the Mint. It's a landmark in, in Halifax, on top of the tallest building in the South End. It was time for a refresh. Essentially, it involved three things. One, uh, a new, bigger telescope, a refresh of the, the physical space, plus we added an observation deck on the roof. And the third was automation and uh, connection to social media. We have been able to connect with Twitter and Twitter users with our newly automated telescope, which I think is super neat um, and very exciting. We wanted to make it much easier for our own students to use the observatory and to take advantage of the precious clear sky we have here in Nova Scotia. It works by reading in Twitter messages that it receives. So you can tweet, hey BGO, I want to see a picture of the Andromeda Galaxy. And it will take your request and then it will go take a picture the next time that it's clear and send your picture back to you. Earlier this year, Twitter had its 10th anniversary and it chose to select in Canada 10 innovative ways that Twitter is being used and they chose the observatory Twitter access as one of those 10. I think the recognition hopefully will just keep pouring in because it was really amazing. It really is kind of changing the way people think about how they're going to do astronomy. For students to be able to have access to the telescope and to actually get some sort of hands-on experience where they're preparing observations and collecting their own data and then they'll actually be able to analyze the data. This is something that not all universities can offer to their students. So the fact that we can do that as early as first year is quite significant. It can produce scientific data. It's not just something that we're saving for ourselves, for our students, or for people in Halifax, but it's in, in fact available to everybody. It really does open up the universe, the sky, to the world. We actually allow all these students to have access to the universe, quite literally, is amazing. The original donation and the refresh have had and will have a tremendous impact on our community in Nova Scotia and beyond to educate and enthuse young and old about science and astronomy and the wonder of what's out there in the night sky for generations to come.